Oh my god, guys. So, true to the word, going around the street, Pokemon news is finally dropped. Exact, well, not exactly 8 a.m. There was a slight delay, but they did not disappoint. As you guys know, there's a new Pokemon trailer out right now, and it details so many new aspects of the game, like so many more than what we got when we had that last Nintendo Direct. We only got some rough sketches and concept art. This time, they've got, I don't know how much of the game they actually have done, but there's some beautiful scenery. You can see, um, I'm going to put some, po like, some photos in this video too, you can see different layouts, you can see different landscapes, you can see the entire island the game's taking place on, but that's not what you guys really care about right now. What you guys care about is the actual news. So, diving into that actual news, we now have the first images of our starters. So, going in order, you're going to see them. I'm gonna, well, I'm going to put them all on the screen, you're going to see them. So, we've got the Grass Owl type Rowlet. I think that's how you pronounce that. You also have the fire type, Litten, which, oh my god, isn't he adorable? I mean, I want Litten so bad. I want Litten and Owlet so bad. And then our water type, Poplio, which, I mean, true to what we got when we were looking at the, at the news that we got as far as the Japanese trademark names, they said that, um... A lot of the, you could derive the words from grass and owl, fire and kitten, like meow, which kind of led us to think it was, you know, a kitten, and just holy crap, I'm watching the trailer back while we're talking, and there's just so much hype in this trailer. Did you guys see those legendaries? No name on those yet, but we finally got the legendary Pokemon for Sun and Moon. We got a fucking Fire Lion. Looks like something straight out of fucking Digimon. And we got like some kind of Moon Bat, which is like Noivern's ascended form. Like it's it's semi... Like if Noivern was semi-perfect like Noivern, this would be super perfect Noivern. Like holy crap, guys. Holy crap. So, outside of that, I mean, discussing like the different discussing the different legendaries I mean I, I feel like it's safe to assume that we're gonna have something probably like flying and dragon and fire and maybe fairy I kind of want to say that line could be a fire fairy type I'm not quite sure there's no typing on that quite yet we finally got our typings on our starters which is interesting that only one of them is dual type I don't know if you guys noticed that, but only one of them starts out dual type. I don't think we've had that quite yet. I think everyone started out a singular type. So, elaborating more into what we saw on our trailer, we can see that we have, at the beginning of the trailer, right away, it introduces us to a character. It introduces us to who I believe is probably our cousin, because... In that little dialogue, you can see, I mean, it says, Welcome to Paradise, Cousin. This is the Alola, Alola region. So, we're in the Alola region now, which looks like it's a play on the word Aloha. Which, hey, that, that, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see that we're going to be in a tropical format. I think that now that we're in a tropical format, we can probably expect more flying-type Pokemon, more water-types, of course. But I want to say we might even be able to expect more fire-types. And Now, that's going to sound kind of weird, considering that this is sort of an island theme, but this is my theory on that. This is my theory on that. Because when you look at um, Hawaiian culture, you see lots of people. You see, like, the tikis, you see, like, the fire dancers, and... Occasionally you see like, you know, like the tropes of volcanoes and stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm, I wanna go out on a limb here and say that this region's gonna kind of subvert a lot of the other regions in the sense that since we're in a warmer climate, since we're in a warmer, like, culture, we're gonna see more fire types as opposed to water types. Because if you look at the Pokedex, it's like 45% water and there's only a couple of fire types. But, I mean, just looking right off the bat, start, fire, potential fire, legendary. So, moving on from that, we can see different gameplay of our character running, and then you can see the new professor, who, honestly, I'm gonna go out on a limb here, 
I think he's going to be like Professor Sequoia or Professor Palm or something. I mean, they all based off of trees when they gave the names to the professors. I don't know if there's like a Japanese word um, dug up for our professor just quite yet. But if there is, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. That's going to be my guess. Professor Palm or Professor Sequoia or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I'm leaning towards Palm just because of the nature and the environment, but hey, you never know. And it's you can see he's got himself a handy dandy assistant, much like a lot of the other professors in the newer games, but that's kind of irrelevant right now. No one really cares about that. So we can see the different starters, kind of like we see their actions, I mean they kind of got the basic moves, Ember, um, Bubble I think, was that Bubble? Bubble water gun. It's probably water gun. And yeah, I mean, just in general, the environment's looking really beautiful, really Hawaiian. Um, it's kind of a mix between the tropical nature side of things, a little bit more warmer and a little bit more developed. I think that's, you can also see our rival at the end. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully put in a picture of that guy. I don't know if I'm gonna remember, but hopefully I'll remember to do that later. So, that pretty much covers everything that all the information we got in that trailer all of the new elements that were introduced to us but there is one final thing keep this in mind i mean i know you guys already got it logged in your memory already but this game drops november 23rd 2016 that's in the 11th month of the year that gives us six more hype months to wait six more months full of coverage gameplay new pokemon being released Just Remember how hype it was when they started dropping Mega Evolutions for X and Y. Remember how hype it was when they were dropping new Pokemon for X and Y. So, honestly, I can't tell you guys that I'm not just fucking over the moon. Horrible joke. I'm, I'm just so fucking excited about these new games. Holy shit, I'm buying them both for sure gonna do an original playthrough of moon and then i'm bringing sun over the channel so you know what Timestamp that right now because before we get to that we're beating we're gonna beat pokemon x on our channel and we're gonna beat pokemon omega ruby and then we're going right into pokemon sun non-stop playthrough non-stop coverage i mean of course it's gonna be after i play my game but fuck it well maybe i will play it for youtube i might just sit down and play sun or not sun i might sit down and just play all the way through moon as soon as i get it who knows in november anything could be happening so that's gonna be it for today guys leave your thoughts and comments in the section below tell me what are you thinking of this new information what do you think nintendo's next big step is gonna be and also what do you think the typing of our star, our not starters, our legendaries are? Because it's pretty ambiguous in the trailer. You don't see a whole lot to get an, a sense of what their typings could be. And hey, who knows? This might even introduce a new type in this region. We don't know. I, I kind of hope they don't because I can't think of a good one to introduce. And I mean, we kind of just introduced fairies. So let's try to not turn the fucking mechanics on their heads so soon. So... Are you guys expecting to see... I'm going to stop dropping questions because holy crap, there's just so little information we have right now. There's just so many questions I could ask for the question of the day. So let's just keep this simple. Who do you? Th what do you think will be the typing of our legendary Pokemon? As I already stated earlier, I'm thinking we got on our hands a dragon flying and a fire fairy. It sort of balances out, but sort of doesn't at the same time. So... That's going to be it from Shadow Master. I intend to be back on YouTube in the next coming days. I don't know what I'm going to be playing for you guys. I'll probably be picking up a couple oldies, and I might pick up some new ones. So, thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.